As it blackened and flattened block after block, the fire was imposing on this highly ordered Type A city a kind of nihilistic anarchy that flouted every value its citizens, companies, and churches held dear. Down with everything. Burn it all. Go back where you came from. Binge and purge. In the face of this surreal undoing, the efforts of its industrious and prosperous inhabitants now appeared futile. This was a city of doers, but now the only thing to do was run away with their children and whatever they could carry. It was frightening, and it was also humiliating. As they fled down the highway in the heart-pounding slow motion one encounters in nightmares, scenes of destruction and defeat confronted them on every hand. Uh, fire weather explores our tangled relationship with fire through time and specifically through the petroleum industry, which is, in essence, a fire industry. What I've done is build the book around a blow-by-blow, street-by-street account of the 2016 megafire that devastated the petroleum hub of Fort McMurray, Alberta, causing the largest single-day evacuation in the history of modern fire. It was clear to me when the city of Fort McMurray, Alberta caught on fire in 2016 that this was a glimpse of the future. It wasn't just an aberration. And the fact that it burned with the intensity it, as it did uh, in the subarctic of Canada indicated to me that if it could happen there, it could happen anywhere, and we better pay attention.